I want go my people. So we're going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to talk about the viability of the roads, whether or not it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, the man them have got to make their pee. They got to start bread. And they don't want to hear none of this road talk. So I decided, let's just break it down step by step. If we're exclusively talking road economics, I never seen a trap with more than 10k saved. I know you can talk about, oh, well, baby main, oh, nines. We're not talking about baby main or nines in this vid because you're not baby main, you're not nines. The average runner who's on road, he's not going about his day making 100k a month or anything like that. I'm not talking about the guy who's on his 24-7 hustle, who's got the work ethic of Elon or something when he was grinding for Tesla. I'm talking about the average trapper on road. Yeah, Nines is on a lot of bread, but you're not Nines, bro. But Nines got his cheek cut up, so that's besides the point. Listen, yeah, the average guy on roads is probably taking away minimum wage at best. It's not taxed, but it's minimum wage. Bang that in a calculator, £10.42 an hour, 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a month, 1.8k a month. That's your average trapper's salary. But yeah, the income ain't taxable, so cool, that man get a few benefits. But what about the risk that comes with it? You gotta roll around with a 45, you gotta move like you've got some anxiety and that. There's safety risks to it, especially if you're in a place with competition. You gotta be clicked up for more security. Is a trapper going contra or is he staying home? It's like minimum wage, but with a risk of getting clotted. It's like going McDonald's, but there's a chance someone can walk in that's just off his head, that's tapped, that can lick off your head any second. And it can happen all the time. Them and I living with paranoia, anxiety. I made a video about road men who have social anxiety. Check it out. There's risks of getting arrested too, getting sent down for peewits. You're getting five years, eight years. It's not all fun and games, guys. Let's chat about the bosses, the bosses of the block, because everyone thinks, oh, yeah, if you're boss, though, you'll make bread. Oh, yeah, look at Asko, look at Stardom. Look at all these big name trappers that got sent down. Asko 7 at 12.5. Let's chat about Burner. All right, so Burner in this picture, let's say he's got 100 racks, tax free. 100K divided by the 12 year bird he's got to serve. That comes out to about 8.3K a year. Hear what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not a pocket watcher, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video. You get me? Born pocket watching, but I'm doing it for the content. Any assets that you acquire, the designer clothes, the watches, necklaces, it all gets seized anyway. And listen, you can't really rock up to the Audi dealership with all that cash in your hand. You gotta launder all that money. You gotta get some Saul Goodman type Donny. It's long. Next thing you know, you're making connects. You're making connects with the elbows, making connects with the next man, Jamaican, Yardi, Somali. The thing is, yeah, I don't need to make connects with no Marlies. I don't need to make connects with no elbows because my thing's lidge. The thing is, yeah, you got to factor in all these undies have got some next A-level drama, GTSE drama. These men went art school and that. These men went performing art school. They became undies these days. You got to watch out for that as well. These men are improv, method acting, all of that. Their man have built it from the ground up. These men have been into acting since five years old because they get sent to drama school just so they can life you off. I'm going to make a video about the undies as well someday. These men are wearing tech fleece. These men are chilling with you on the block wearing tech fleece. You could chill with your boy for five years. Little did you know he's a fed all along. Little did you know that fiend, Kirsty, she was a fed all along. She had that nitty, the real life top boy. The undies, the technology is getting advanced. The education is getting advanced. Then man, all these external factors all factor into you being broke. You not making that much bread because you could have clocked into Tesco 20 hours a week and got that much or bumped the government for PIP or something. So Bernard done all that for less than minimum wage. Now he's got to miss 12 summers. That's 12 summers that could be spent with a girl then. In Nobu, Tenerife, all that. Instead, man's rotting in the walk. And hear what I'm saying? I'm a young guy, yeah? So when I was 15 years old, 16 years old, that was prime UK drill. That was 2018. You get me? That was Kennington where it started. That was LD67. All them, man, were coming out. And I looked up to these, man, like they were gods. We'll talk. And I know there's a lot of men that look up to these, man, like they're kings or something. Like they're starting to aspire to. Really, it ain't, man, because they're all making less than minimum wage. All them six, seven members, they all got sent down. Look at LD. Look at Bando K as well. Bando K, let's say he made 200K, but he's serving a five-year sentence that all equals out to around the same amount that you could have made in uh, being an electrician or something. But since man wanted to act bad, 
that that sentence kind of cancels out everything that he made. His career probably took a big impact. The Spotify money that he's making is cool, but it's just little trickles of income. Double L's, he didn't go pen, but he ended up becoming irrelevant because he snitched and put out shit music for so long. His music's so dead. But listen here, man. Every time you wake up in the morning, that's more opportunities to get bread. That's more opportunities to make your peas. I treat the 9 to 5 like it's the trap. I treat the 9 to 5 like I'm hustling, like I'm in crunch. And that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? Crunch, trapping, all it is is just a man's desire to acquire resources and finances. The thing is, a lot of these men are ambitious. A lot of these men are go-getters. I'm not saying the vast majority because there's a lot of men on road that are lazy and don't want to work and they see it as an easy way out. But who used to say they can't get a lidge? The girl in HR that come fresh from their English lit degree ain't half the go-getters these men are. They're still on bread. Who used to say you can't achieve your dream shit, become a boss? But hear what I'm saying, man. A good boss is a good employee. A good CEO works the hardest in a company. He's the one that stays behind while everyone goes home. He's the one that's always on strategy. Hear what I'm saying, yeah? This is the realest secret that I ain't told no one. No one deserves to know except my realest supporters that stuck around five minutes into the video. I'm going to chat about negativity, positivity. Do you man know the day I made this channel, I told myself, I'll hit 10k, no questions asked. I used to have my sub count inspect elemented with 10k. I walked around knowing that I have 10k subs already. And do you know what happened? I got so much ideas in my head. So much ideas just popped into my head. All of them contributing to me getting 10,000 subscribers. And hear what I'm saying, yeah? These men on roads... They're in that negative frequency. They're in that frequency of fear, apathy, guilt, shame, lust, violence. All of these feelings there, feelings of a lower being, of a lower animal. I used to have a notebook written out hundreds of times, line by line, I'm going to hit 10,000 subscribers. Did you man know? I knew Bouncer would reply to my video before even making it. Before even making it, I knew this video, Bouncer's going to reply to this he's gonna call me a waste man all this imagine having 2k subscribers and a guy with 300k insta followers 300k followers on tiktok this guy's shook of you this guy's shitting himself i always knew that i have star qualities you get me and i just have that belief in myself that high confidence and i want you man to have that as well and i want to foster that into this community that i've built a lot of these man on roads a lot of these trappers man they're young man young man already defeated by life their man kk in pen kk that picture that mugshot of kk he was like 19 from defeated at 19 defeated at 21 that's how they want you because they want you 21 looking like you've been through five divorces everyone put in the chat five divorces they want you to look like ko that picture of KO defeated stood in front of the camera but with that mug shot, knowing that he's got to serve life, he's got to serve 30 summers. Move on, he's got to serve 30 summers. They want you defeated. They want you to throw away your life for a 10k Rolex, for a 12k fake Rolex. And I'm going to make a video about Mover because i got so much to say about my man. These men are all getting lifed off. These men are all throwing it away. But that comes to the end of the video. Like and subscribe. I hope you guys all enjoy this. New videos out every week. I'm out. Bang!